Today is a super exciting day for me. Uh, today I'm gonna go and pick up the first brand new construction machine I've ever bought in my whole life. Haven't bought very many expensive things. This one is probably gonna be the top of the list for me so far in my life. So big day for me. But before we get into that, I gotta go run and backfill electric trench that I dug at the end of last week. Couldn't backfill it right away because it had to be inspected and stuff. So we're gonna start up this old pig, load it up into that old truck, and we're gonna head out to the job. She actually started up really good. It's been like a month or so since I had this thing running last, I think. Guys, there's not a whole lot that's nicer than leaving a trailer at home and just driving to the job like you're driving a truck. Makes for a nice drive. Alrighty, so we're here on the job now and this is what we're gonna do today. We have an electric trench that I dug late last week and uh, they got the pipe in, they got inspected and now it's time to backfill. So. This is a new house construction. This is an old farm building that was just a part of the farm that was here before. And the new driveway is gonna come around the telephone pole this trench goes to and come right through the driveway here, or through the barn here, sorry. This is the best route for the trench despite the building still being here and so this is where we ran it. So it was a little tricky digging in here with some of the obstacles, but got in here no problem. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna trickle some dirt in over the pipe. We're gonna lay the caution tape that the electricians left us in the in the trench about a foot over the pipe or so and then we'll push the rest of the dirt in and pack it in the best we can. No matter how much packing I do, the trenches still end up soft after a rain, but it just is what it is. You can't pack it all the way down a trench by running it over because you'll you'll lose the machine in the trench, you know? I'll set you up on this steel post here and uh, you'll see what happens. Now it's time to throw the tape in. This warning tape is important and should not be neglected or forgotten or gone without. It helps warn somebody who's doing any digging in the future that there's a pipe below. I recently was digging at a, a house for a pool utility trench, you know, running electric out to the pool. And they had put the caution tape right on top of the electric service for the house. And so I I knew I was close to electric service because I had it marked out and everything. I ended up getting closer to it than I thought and I caught the tape, but the tape was only like two inches above the service. Thankfully I didn't hit that, but it just goes to show that stuff is important. It does work and it's important that it's a foot above the pipe like it's supposed to be. You don't want to have it smack on top of the pipe because that doesn't do anybody any good. Now it's time to put all the dirt back in the hole. All of it.
righty, we got the trench nice and graded up here. Goes up through there and on up to the house and smooth that as good as we can, considering around the post and stuff. And it's it's pretty good, you know. It might be a smidge better if it was out in the open, but it's definitely definitely good enough to be a complete project. Got that machine loaded up. We're gonna head back to the shop, drop it off, and then we're headed to the equipment dealer. All right, we got that thing unloaded. And now it's time to make my favorite trip, which is a trip with an empty truck to the place where the new machines are. All right, here we are. Oh, so many machines. I don't think I see it. All right, so here we are. We're at the John Deere dealership and it's super exciting. I'm gonna go in and sign some papers and, and do all that stuff, get all the insurance figured out, all of that. And then we'll be back out here to look the machine over, load it up and take it. Well, actually we're not gonna take it home. So you'll have to stick around and see where we're gonna take it. We're not taking it to a job either. But either way, let me go in and do my thing and I'll be back out here in a little bit. All right guys, this is it. This is what we got ourselves here. It's a 325G. And boy, is it pretty. This is such an improvement. I know the camera doesn't do the size justice, but it's such an improvement over that New Holland machine that I have right now. Like, like this thing could probably pick up the New Holland and go throw it in a pond somewhere. And I am just super excited to get in the dirt, but we're not gonna take it home. We're gonna take it to another place and we're gonna do something else with it first. So I'm gonna load it up real quick and we'll talk more about that later. We're getting instructions. So, on your keypad over there. Yeah. All right, you see button one and four? Yeah. So, if you think about it, right now it's in full production mode. That's gonna give you all the juice everywhere you wanna go, right? Okay. So, number one is your throttle, okay? So, yeah. And so when you're using your left joystick to control it, that's how responsive it's gonna be. So right now you're full production mode. If you were to hit that number one, one time, one light, so that's gonna be precision. I used to have an actual safety feature like a parking brake. See how this goes. This machine is gonna be a lot tighter fit in this truck than the New Holland. I'm a little bit nervous about it, to be honest. making it it's the same size bucket just a lot bigger machine so there's no reason it shouldn't fit you gotta get it to tip over nice and gentle very good okay I'm gonna take these forks out of the bucket and flip them around real quick that's the only way this is gonna work out for us Oh, don't, you don't have to get in here. I'll get it. If I can't get it by myself now, I can't get it by myself at the job. <laughs> get these flipped around. Something like that. It's maybe not my first day, maybe my second day. <laughs> I'm gonna need those tines to be in the center so my ramps can go on either side of them. Cause the ramps go underneath the machine and they're the same length as the bed. Yeah, I think cause they're close together, I'll just put them in the center. Once I get them spread out, I'll probably put the ramps between the tines. But for this, this'll work. All right guys, we got it in. And let me tell you what, it's a, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it's a fit. Got the forks up against the back here, tines are you know, slid together and in between the ramps that are slid up underneath the machine. I'm not quite centered, so that might be a little bit troublesome getting chained down, but it's gonna work. We're gonna get to where we're going here. No problem. 
All righty, we are all chained down. Let's hit the road one more time. Get to our final destination today. Here we go. I think this is more money than this truck has ever had in the, in the bed ever before. <laughs> Alrighty, we're at our next destination. We actually just pulled into a body shop where we're gonna get this machine painted a custom color. Deer didn't offer custom colors. I think Cat does, but whatever, Deer doesn't. And uh, so I gotta get this thing painted by a third party, which is fine. It's gonna work out. These guys are gonna hook us up and it's gonna be great. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and get it unloaded and see what they think. I don't think they've ever painted a skid steer before, so who knows how this will go. <laughs> So as I thought, this is going to be a little bit bigger job than the body shop guys thought it was going to be. They can definitely handle it, they're going to take care of it for me, but it's going to take a little bit longer than they thought. So we're going to leave it with them for a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a little while for me, but for you guys it's going to be just a few seconds, maybe even a minute. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and unload this, we'll see how that goes. Should be interesting, backing off for the first time with a backup camera, which will be cool. And uh, that'll be about it. I think I'll probably leave the bucket in here. I'm not sure, I'll figure that out later. Oh, uh, until I get it figured out, this backup camera isn't worth a whole lot because I just, you can see the ramps in it, but you can't tell, you just can't see what you need to see. It is what it is. Oh, this thing, I'll tell you, so many safety features. <laughs> I know the machine I have has none. They've all been disabled, which is quite sketchy. Oh boy. Ah. Ah. We're looking good. The camera helps with this part. It's a little bit easier to see we're lined up better. Get my bucket up and look in front of me, see if we look good on the tracks. We look good. There we go. Success. I like it. Okay, I think they're gonna let me park this inside. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do here. Say what? What's it way? Like 9,500 pounds. Probably too much for a lift, but. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm gonna leave them with some instructions on how to run the thing and move it around the shop if they need to. Then I'm gonna head out. It's gonna be a little bit for me, but for you, it's gonna be licky split and just like this. And we're back. All right, as you can see by the snow behind me, it has been a few months, actually almost four months. So I'm gonna drop that machine off at the body shop to get painted and it is finally done, and it is finally right before my eyes, and I am so excited. This thing looks incredible. Oh, it just looks so good. I'm afraid it's gonna be a challenge to keep clean and keep looking good like this, but oh, it is just beautiful. We're gonna go straight to the sticker shop after this and get it all lettered up, but Look at the lights back there. That was something I didn't even anticipate. I didn't know those were red. I thought those were just like reflectors, but they light up. Gives a cool Batman look. What a machine. I am so pumped to have something that's set apart from the rest of the industry and just looks a little bit different. I'm hoping this will really set me apart. They say that company branding and developing a name and an image for yourself is super important. And it's a lot of money to get something like this painted like this, but I think it's gonna end up being worth the investment in the long run. Let's load this thing up, head to the sticker shop and get our name on it. I wanna try backing this thing on this time around. It's got this backup camera in it. Makes things easy to get fairly lined up, I think. Kinda of need to get out and check myself here just to make sure the backup camera is off-centered. And so I'm not so Sure, I can trust it directly. It looks like I can't. Looks like I need to move a little bit to the left. <laughs> trial and error, trial and error. And we're on. 
That wasn't too bad. I think a little bit of practice and we can get pretty good at that. Well, that didn't work out. I ended up taking too much time filming and making a big deal out of the new paint job that I didn't get to the sticker store before it closed. So it worked out anyway. We're getting the opportunity to make use of a rainy day now. That's a really full pond for this year. It's been a dry year here in Ohio. Glad they got water. So my sticker guy runs a business out of his house and he preferred it in film. It's, you know, it's a place he lives and I certainly want to respect his wishes there. So we're back at my house and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. You can see the bucket there just behind the truck. I'm going to hop in the machine, pull it out here and you can see what it looks like. Take a look at this thing. This has got to be one of the sweetest looking things I've ever paid money for. Maybe next to my wife's engagement ring back in the day, but still, at least in recent years. Man, turned out so good. I can't wait to get this thing in the dirt and get it going. And it's probably gonna never look this good again, but I've also never felt so interested in keeping something nice. like. I've always had sufficient equipment or, well, not even that actually, but I've often had good enough stuff to get the job done and the, job, and the focus is always having something functional rather than fashionable. And lots of people operate like that and there's nothing wrong with that. But this is the first time I've had the opportunity to have something that's both functional and fashionable. I've definitely paid a lot of extra money to have it painted and, and you know, stickered up and everything like that. but. I think it's gonna turn out to be worth it. I mean, even this thing going down the street in the truck is just super eye-catching. I mean, those letters pop off of there and your eyes can't help but be drawn to them. So I think both to, to other business owners and to customers alike, I think this is gonna be a real element of what brings in the business. At least I hope it is. I've invested in it like it's going to. So only time will tell and I'll certainly give you my thoughts as we go along through this journey of business development. And uh, if it's observable to me that this kind of thing has made a difference, I'll definitely share it. I've definitely heard other people talking about it and everybody seems to think it makes a big difference. So that's what I'm banking on, that it all works out in the end. <laughs> we will see though, we will see. I'm gonna take a second and jump in the cab and show you just what's going on in there. We got this thing fully loaded because if I was gonna buy a brand new machine, I definitely wasn't gonna skimp out and not get the best thing that I could get to make work the best that it can be. So I really haven't had time to sit down and really fiddle with everything and figure it out, but I'll go over the big stuff with you real quick here. Um, we got a backup camera, super important. It's also located in a way that you can see the actual back edge of the machine. So you have a reference point as to how close you are with stuff. Doesn't see things far off in the distance, but I'd rather have this reference point than being able to far see far out in the distance. If we need to see far, we can just look out the back window. So we got that. We got some gauges up here. I wish this screen had more information in it, but you can't have everything, I guess. We got ourselves a Bluetooth radio, um, the standard rear view mirror that comes in everything, it seems like. We got our quick catch, got our two sets of headlights. First setting is just the forward headlights. Second setting is the side lights and the light in the rear. Uh, maybe I'll wait till after dark and show you what that's like. Uh, we got some auxiliary stuff, auto reversing fan. I don't remember what this does. AC and HVAC controls. Got a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, there's some auto level stuff. There's some things to slow down the controls, which I don't need that. I don't even think that that makes things easier for somebody to learn. If you gotta learn, you might as well learn with full sensitivity of controls. There's auto idle, which is a super cool feature. Uh, three different patterns to choose from with, with the controls. This is all a key code pad, so I've got it set up with a three digit pin number, so that way uh, it can't be stolen. I haven't really gotten used to not having a key and having these buttons to turn things on and turn things off. Still figuring out a little bit of that. Uh, that's, you know, that'll come with time. It'll become a habit. But yeah, it's a pretty sweet little machine. Got a foot throttle, of course. All the equipment have that these days. Um, got a ton of auxiliary functions on this side, got more auxiliary functions on this side, one of them's the horn, two speeds down here, 
It is a two-speed machine, there's that too. There's just so much stuff I can't even, I don't even know all of it yet. I haven't had time to just sit down and mess around with this thing. Like, I don't even know what these buttons on this monitor do. I haven't really sat down to look at them. There's camera display settings. I'm sure it's not crazy stuff about, what's that? Oh my goodness, there's a ton of stuff in there. Who knows? I just need to sit down and go through all this stuff and really look it over and figure out what's what and that kind of thing. Alrighty guys, here's a quick little demonstration of the lights here after dark. Here we have no lights, here we have the front lights, and here we have the side lights. And oh buddy, this camera doesn't even do it justice naturally, but it lights everything up really good. Even the back, there's a light back there and that lights up everything really nice too. Yes sir, -y. this thing is quite the unit. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a special experience for me. I've never bought a brand new machine. I've never bought a brand new truck. I've never actually had a brand new big anything before. And so it's gonna be a little bit of a journey. You know, it's, it's an investment I can't afford to not take care of the best way possible. So it'll be quite an experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, let me know in the comments and subscribe and we'll hope to see you on the next one.